Hello everyone and welcome back. Our today's topic is algebra. Friends, as you know, algebra is one of the very important topic for all kind of government competitive exams. Friends, let it be SSC, Railway and UPSC, CDS. In all the exams, you can find lot of questions from algebra. So friends, our today's questions are very, very important because friends, all the problems has been asked in the SSC exam. And friends, this kind of questions has been repeated many a times in the SSC exam. So friends, that is the reason I am saying all these problems are very important and this we need to solve it so that friends in exam when the problem comes we can directly take the answer. Now friends what they are telling if 2x minus y whole square plus 3y minus 2z whole square is equal to 0 then the ratio of x is to y is to z. So friends 2x minus y square plus 3y minus 2z whole square is equal to 0. That means friends both the term should be equal to 0. Then only 0 plus 0 will be equal to 0. Now if 2x minus y is equal to 0 then friends 2x will be equal to y and x will be equal to y by 2 and friends you can say x by y will be 1 by 2 in turn x is to y is nothing but 1 is to 2. Now friends what about the second term so that also should be equal to 0. 3y minus 2z will be equal to 0. So 3y will be equal to 2z. So y will be equal to 2z by 3. Z I will bring it this side. So y by z is equal to 2 by 3. And friends I can write y is to z is nothing but 2 is to 3. Now friends you see. So x is to y is 1 is to 2. And y is to z is 2 is to 3. So friends you can see y is here and here same. So I can directly write x is to y is to z will be 1 is to 2 is to 3. So friends today whatever questions I am going to discuss all the problems will be very very important. Now friends moving towards next problem. So friends question number 2 if 4a minus 3 whole square is equal to 0 then the value of 64a cube minus 48a square plus 12a plus 13. Okay so this value you have to calculate it friends. Now friends so 4a minus 3 is equals to 0. So a will be nothing but equal to 3 by 4. So we have got a is equals to 3 by 4. Now put the value of a in the equation 64 into 3 by 4 cube minus 48 into 3 by 4 square plus 12 into 3 by 4 plus 13. Now friends you see 64 into 27 by 64 because friends 3 cube will be 27 and 4 cube will be 64. Now 48 into so 9 by 16 plus 12. So this will divide this by 3 times. So 3 into 3 will be 9 plus 13. Now you see friends so 64 and 64 cancel. This will become 27. 16 3 is a this will also become 27 plus friends 9 plus 13. So friends this will be equal to 0. So 13 plus 9 will be 22. So 22 will be the correct answer. Okay. So option C will be the correct answer for the question number 2. So friends like this we have to solve problems in our examination. Now friends the next problem will be little bit complicated. So let us see how are we going to solve that. Now friends let us see how to solve this question number 3. Okay. So friends if A plus B minus of 6 whole square. Okay. So friends what is there? So a plus b minus of 6 whole square plus a square plus b square plus 1 plus 2b is equals to 2ab plus 2a. So friends basically we need to calculate we need to calculate then the value of a. So we have to calculate the value of a. Okay friends now let us see friends what can be done here. So friends you see there is one identities which we have already learned friends. So a plus b plus c square will be equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Now friends so this equation we need to convert into that form only. So friends you see a square plus b square and 1 is nothing but c square. So let us try to bring all those things in the left side. So a plus b minus of 6 square plus a square plus b square plus 1 plus 2b minus 2ab and minus 2a is equals to 0. Now friends you see so c is nothing but c will be nothing but either plus 1 or minus 1. Now friends so we need to frame this in this kind of formulas. 
so for for that friends we should have the proper understanding that how can we convert that in now friends so a square plus b square plus c square and friends you see 2b 2b means friends so 2b and c is nothing but 1 here minus 2a friends so 2a and c is nothing but minus c is nothing but 1 and friends here 2ab now friends you see a is here also and a is here also and this both is becoming negative so friends it is very much clear a is nothing but minus a so friends i can write here a plus b minus 6 whole square plus so a is nothing but minus a square b will be like that c will be 1 so 1 square and then 2b that means 2bc c is nothing but 1 and 2a a is minus 1 minus a so 2ab minus 2 minus friends 2bc 2ac right c minus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca so this is nothing but my this is nothing but friends my 2bc this is nothing but 2ab so 1 will be 2ca a is negative so it will become 2a is equals to 0 now i can write a plus b minus of 6 whole square plus minus a plus b plus 1 whole square will be equal to 0 will be equal to 0 now if this is equals to 0 that means both the term is equals to 0 so a plus b minus 6 will be equal to 0 and minus a plus b plus 1 will be equal to 0 so friends from here you can see a plus b is equals to 6 and minus a plus b will be equal to minus 1 now let us solve this friends so this minus what i will do so i will change the sign so this will become plus minus plus now friends 2a will become equal to 7 so a will become equal to 7 by 2 which is nothing but 3.5 so friends this particular problem was one of the best problem friends because we had to convert this in the terms of a plus b plus c whole square and that was very much required to find it out which term is negative so friends basically a was negative here and that's how we were able to solve the problem thanks a lot friends for watching the video i hope you would have understood all the three important questions which was asked in the ssc examination